everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to finally be changing my coffee bar from fall to Christmas. I finished decorating the living room, as you can see behind me, yesterday, but it was so, so late by the time that I finished that I was super exhausted and just couldn't even think about doing the coffee bar, but I have tons of goodies that I'm gonna show you in just a minute to transform this from fall to Christmas. But before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family. I do tons of lifestyle videos on here. I do decorating, cooking, I do cleaning. I also like to do, I actually love to do plus size hauls for plus size girls like me. Um, so if you if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I'd like for you to be part of the family and get notifications every time I upload a video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before the end of the video so that I know that you like the content that I'm putting out. And that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so this is what my coffee bar looks like currently. It's still decorated for fall. This wreath that I have up here is there all year round. I just decorate it depending on what the season is. Um, and then these canisters here are not Ray Dunn canisters, but they are my Ray Dunn inspired canisters. There's a video all about on how I did this. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in checking that out. These mugs here I got at Dollar General. These are Dollar Tree decorations, a Dollar Tree pumpkin. Again, just a sugar bowl that I made look like Ray Dunn. Um, and then down here is where we keep all our extra mugs and our coffee syrups and coffee grounds. And in these baskets is where we keep our extra pods. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna make it look like Christmas exploded. Okay, so just to give you a really quick good idea of where my coffee bar is located in the house, the living room is right behind me and then I have my coffee bar and then it's my dining room and then my kitchen. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you guys dizzy there, but that is where it is. It's kind of like in a really perfect location, but um, because of the wall that I chose to put it on, it's a very small space. Luckily, I was able to find the table that it's sitting on off of Swip Swap. I think when I bought it, it was orange and I transformed it to look like this with, um, I changed the top, I used some leftover pallet wood to create the new top that's on the table and then I painted the bottom of it white. I also updated the hardware and the hinges to give it that farmhousey look. So my coffee bar came out perfect. It's just the way that I want it to look. But again, it's a little bit on the smaller side. So we're very limited with space, just a little bit of space to the left of the machine and the shelf on top. So we're gonna have to get creative. Let's get started. So now let's start adding things to the coffee bar. I've had this in storage and I'm pretty sure I used it last year for Christmas. So I'm gonna see how it looks on the coffee bar. I think it'll give me more spaces to put things for decoration and that way it'll be more full and I think more festive. I'm gonna take these two wreaths that I got from the Target One Spot. They were $3 each, and I'm gonna hang them on the doors using some command hooks. All right, these are the hooks that I'm going to use, and I'm gonna use them by hanging them upside down on the inside of the door so that I can hang the wreaths using the ribbon that came already attached to it. these coffee mugs I got them at Dollar General they were only two dollars and I think I like them because they remind me of those old metal camping cups um, that we used to use when I was little we used to go camping all the time so I think this fits perfectly with my like rustic farmhousey theme and so I, I thought about making some Ray Dunn looking mugs for the coffee mug rack but I thought these were cute and they reminded me so much of my childhood when we used to go camping so I'm gonna use these on the coffee mug rack I found these glittery tree candles at Home Goods when I was there just the other day. We have a Marshall's Home Goods here. These were $5.99. So I'm probably gonna use either one or both of them, most likely one on the tear tray and one on the shelf. So 
So when we were in Target the other day getting things for decorating the living room, I found this mug, which I thought was really cute. It says, Made with Love, Mrs. Claus Cookie Company, Baked Fresh and Served Nightly. This was only $3 and I got it just the other day at Target Dollar Spot. So I think I might put this in the, the machine itself. I needed something to replace the little square sign that I had inside the wreath. So I got, they didn't have any really cute square signs this year at my Dollar Tree, but I did find this ornament that says Merry Christmas and it looks like an elf. But I also did have this from last year. It's actually a box, but I thought I could probably just take the lid off and hang it off of the hook that's up there inside the wreath. So I'm not sure which one I like better, the elf ornament or the Let It Snow box cover. So I'm probably gonna try them both out and see how I like it. Tea, no, what are these things called? Tea cloths? I'm not sure, but they're super cute. They always have them in the Target one spot um, for each season. And I leave them actually with this hook on it because I have this little hook on the side here that I hang things from. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave the Mrs. Claus Cookie Company because her name is kind of cut off or if I should leave it on the gingerbread side. You guys let me know which one you think is cuter. Gingerbread men who are actually hanging upside down, or Mrs. Claus Cookie Company with her name cut off. Let me know in the comments down below. So I got this really cute advent calendar. It's actually really big. I got it in the Target One Spot, and surprisingly, it was only $3. I felt like everything this year went up in price in the Target One Spot, and I thought it was really cute, and I wanna use this up on the shelf. So I'm gonna set it up there right now. Um, I'll probably end up moving it later, but I'm gonna set it up on the shelf, and hopefully it'll look really cute in my decor. I do have to change the number. As of today, there is technically 22 days left until Christmas. So I picked up these jars quite a bit ago. I have three of them actually. I got them at the Dollar Tree and um, I put different things in them depending on the season of the year. Um, for Halloween, I had candy corn in there. I'm actually gonna fill one with these candy coated pretzels and then I'm going to fill another one. I believe I'm gonna put some sprinkles that I purchased at TJ Maxx and then hopefully some marshmallows. And if I am able to crush some candy canes, I'll probably do some candy canes. While I was at Home Goods the other day, I was able to snag two Ray Dunn mugs. This one that says Jingle with the red inside, and this one that says Ho Ho Ho, also with the red inside. I'm probably gonna use these in the tear stand and prop some really cute um, props inside. I forgot that I grabbed this at Dollar General. I think this was like maybe a dollar or two dollars. So I'm probably gonna use this with these really cute sprinkly pretzels that I got also at Dollar General. Perfect, all the pretzels fit in here just perfectly. So we got this really cute red truck candle from Dollar General. It was only $6. I'm gonna rearrange the shelf up here to fit this bad boy right in the middle. Alright, so I'm gonna place my pinch sugar jar along with this cute little burlap tree that I got from the Target Wonder Shop. I think these were like three dollars maybe. And so because this is so well not this, <laughs> this, I do love my three tier tray, but this little thing here always gets in the way. I feel like it kind of makes this top part useless because nothing really fits in here, and this is too tall for in here. So I'm gonna set it here, it's full of sugar, it's right next to the coffee machine, so I think that's a good placement. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna put in this top tier here and fill in the spaces here at the bottom. So I have some left 
leftover pine cones and berries from random things last year. I'm gonna try and use these in the wreath up there to make it look a little bit more festive. So like I mentioned before, I really wasn't sure what to do with this spot up here because it's so small and this pole that sticks out kind of keeps you from putting anything in there. Um, but I do have one extra wreath. It's a little bit different than the ones that I have down here, but I did also get it to the Target One spot for $3. I'm gonna shove this down there for right now and then maybe I'll be able to think of something that I can put um, in this little area. Dollar Tree sells this garland that is 15 feet long and that, while that is really long for just a dollar it's kind of flimsy and very thin but I'm going to cut a piece off of this so that I can kind of put it across the top of the shelf. I also got these at the Dollar Tree, they're little bells, and I'm going to tie two of them to the front of those baskets down there where we hold our extra coffee pods. By the way, I'm almost certain my daughter hid so that my son wouldn't eat them all. Um, but I'm going to, since I bought more that the kids can enjoy, I'm going to crush these so that I can put them in um, a little jar so that if anybody wants to garnish their coffee with some crushed peppermint, they'll have it. My only concern is that this plastic is like almost invisible. Ugh, there we go. So I'm gonna crush these up and I'll be right back in a minute. Just a side note, I was in Bell's Outlet last night. They had a big jar full of this stuff, but it was like $9.99. You can just crush it yourself. How cute is that? Now, given I would like to have a little more than this, but I don't want to waste any more candy canes. So I had to take a break. Um, it was time to pick up the kids. So after like fixing the house this morning and um, cleaning up the kitchen and getting the living room tidy again and then working on the coffee bar uh, before I knew it, it was time to pick up the kids. But I wanted to stop at the Dollar Tree and also Dollar General just to grab a few things that I thought would be... Um, that would work nice on the coffee bar for the spots that I feel like are a little empty. So I'm on my way to go get the kids now and then we're gonna head to the store and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so now that the kids are home, I'm gonna be doing voiceover for the rest of this video because they're running around being loud and crazy, but that's okay because I love it. So this jar I did pick up from the Dollar Tree and I filled it with some marshmallows, but then I remember that this was my hot chocolate jar, not my marshmallow jar. So I had to pour these into my marshmallow jar, which is just the same jar that I used for the candy canes. Like I mentioned before, I have three of these little guys. So one of them has candy canes and now one of them has marshmallows. And there will be a third one that will get chocolate chips in it. While I was out with the kids, I was trying to find a container of like chocolate mix or hot cocoa mix, but the best I could do was find this Swiss mist that came in packets, which was okay. Um, I just cut open the packets and poured them into the jar. I believe that each box contains eight and it took me 10 of the packets to fill up this jar. All right, so I have my jar filled, and then I also picked up some of this ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I believe it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'm just going to tie this around the neck of the bottle just to give it just a little extra oomph. I also found this little glass mason jar thingy. It's not really a shaker because there's no holes in the lid, but I am going to fill this with some sprinkles that I think would be so cute on the coffee bar just in case anybody has some whipped cream they want to top off with some really cute Christmassy sprinkles. One of the things that I picked up today while I was at the Dollar Tree was this really cute church ornament. It's very glittery and it has some garnishing on top with some pine needles and I just thought it was so pretty. I found these really cute little mini gingerbread houses. They were only a dollar and I thought they were so cute. 
And I also picked up some of my favorite chocolates. These are chocolate covered cherries and I'm gonna put these inside that top tier. I grabbed these cute little snowman ornaments at Dollar General, they were only a dollar each. <gasps> So right now I'm just rearranging the three-tiered tray with all the little canisters and all the toppings and the cute little ornaments that I found and we're just about done. Alright, so here is the finished product, a close-up look at the wreath that I did, um, adding the garnishing of the pine cones and the berries. Here's that cute little church and my red truck candle. Moving on down to the mugs, I did add these little Santa stop signs here that we picked up at Dollar General about a week ago. Um, and then here's just a close-up look at my tiered tray with all my little goodies and delicious coffee and hot chocolate toppings and my very favorite 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 christmas chocolates there on top um, i really love the way this came out i think it looks very festive i don't think that it looks too empty nor do i think that it looks too full but you go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think of my coffee christmas station don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet already done so and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video